Kobe Bryant at the Drew League. And man, let me tell you, this one is rare. It is gold. It is amazing footage. If you had an almanac of basketball, you would definitely put this video in there. And this one is brought to you by Marvin Maddox. Marvin's got a channel. I'll put the link in my description. There you go. Kobe driving right, dunk in. Okay, man, this is like, what, 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 what's going on? Oh, Jamar up and under. Oh, there it is. Dang. Mama. Mama 24. Oh, Jamar up and under. Got you. Woo. Like Chick Kern would say, in the popcorn machine. And reverse. Kobe was just uh, he, he was just an acrobat, man. Like, he could just contort his body in different ways. It was just so cool to watch every night. If you ever got a chance to go watch him play, it was just, uh, it was a show every night. He always brought it. I feel like sometimes he would play it into the team's kind of like favor, where he was like, all right, so you guys got to do something. I ain't going to do it all. And then he would put on a show at the end. It was it was fun. He was a, he, just like Lamelo said in my interview, bro, it's all about entertainment, making the fans happy. James is just not, it's like when Kobe was going against Jordan, this is what it was kind of like, it's kind of like, alright, let me get some knowledge right now, let me get some knowledge, and Kobe was like, yeah, let me get this knowledge, <laughs> how many of y'all love Kobe, Kobe James, our teams are high, I know, Kobe, I know, I love him because he's doing this. He's doing this stuff. Woo! Man, this is a, what, 22 year old James? 20, 22 year old Damar? Man, look at that division. I don't know if you know this, but Kobe's, uh, I think he's the leader in shooting guard and assists. I think uh, somebody's gonna have to pass him. Yeah, I don't care, he's the best pass and shooting guard ever. Best pass and shooting guard ever. Mamba. Oh, look at that. You know what's fun about Kobe? Was that I'm a Rake fan, right? And I'm a Dodge fan. Right, I'm, a, I'm a all these fans, right? But there was always one team that always won. And it was the Lakers. I could always guarantee Kobe was going to do something, bro. Oh, like I always look at, yeah, uh -huh, like cool new guy coming in. Yeah, wait till Kobe dunks on you and baptize you. Yeah, that's your, that's your baptism into the league. Getting dunked on by Kobe. That's just how I thought because Kobe dunked on You see him right there with the, the tallest guy there. <laughs> yup. Oh, there's AD. Um, later on, turns into Bronny's uh, head coach. Well, I don't think, no. 
he would have been Brian's head coach if Brian was sitting Crossroads. But he's a head coach of Crossroads. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Look like Jason Drew right there. <laughs> Man, these fans don't, don't even know how lucky they are. They have no idea how lucky they are, dude. Like, to have this in your memory bank. Look at that, the shoe. Look at the shoes. Look, someone will jack it. I knew it. I knew someone will jack the shoe. Because it happened every time you had a game and they throw the shoe, someone going to take it. I used to love when Dennis Rodman used to throw the stuff. Man. Look at the Mamba, bro. The, the freaking Mamba. Look at that. That's the swaggy shirt. I need that swaggy shirt and that swaggy jacket right now. I need that right now. Man. Ah, these people are so happy. And you got this jersey sign. Oh, the Grinches? You got the Grinches? James right there just. Go to the 
for them. And you had to wait in line. And you know, you want to get playoff tickets, you got to get there early. And if you're from LA, you know it's like real misty, dewy in the morning. And sometimes it rains in the morning, but then it's hot later on in the day. And sure enough, every time I knew, because I wanted playoff tickets, because we were good. I couldn't stand Utah, I couldn't stand Seattle, the Supersonics. So I wanted to see us win, you know, I wanted to see us win so bad. And Kobe kept on taking L after L and it was just like, oh, so frustrating. And then Shaq was so dominant, but it was just like, man, are we ever gonna get over this hump, you know? And then here come Phil Jackson. And it's just like, changed the whole team, you know, the whole vibe was like Jordan vibe. So Kobe turned into a okay, was he Jordan? You know? And it was just uh, it was a great way to see someone really answer the call, you know what I mean? And uh, the rest is history, you know, three championships. I don't know when the last time that was done. I think it was actually the Lakers. I think like was it my did Braun do it? I, I don't know. I I know I'm a Braun fan, I don't think he did it. I know Steph Curry ain't do it, homie. I know he ain't do it 2016. I know he ain't do it. So it's just, uh, like, look at that, man. I think Kobe Bryant is the last team to do it. I think Kobe and the Lakers are the last team to do a three-peat, man. I just, I think so. Somebody help me in the comments. But, um, yeah, he won the three, and then everybody was, like, siding with Shaq, and then, the, you know, the Colorado thing and all that stuff, man. But I don't care about that, man. I don't care about Kobe. About two more, and against Boston, I was in the I was at those games in 2007. Man, we went to the championship. I was at those games. L. L. All right, lights is going out on me, bro. So we gotta go. All right, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like this whole thing, man. Um, shout out to you guys for watching Click 11. Shout out to uh, all of you for sure. And I'm re bringing more content, more of uh, everything really. So uh, shout out to y'all and stay safe. God bless and have a good one.